Facebook Marketplace is basically my second home, so every once in a while, I decide to joke around and look up the school buses, and well, I found the most perfect minibus with a non-diesel engine, and I guess what I'm trying to say is that, um, I bought a bus. So I guess, meet Toby. He's a 1995 Chevy school bus. I've always loved bus life, and the idea of being able to travel with no plans. If you know me, I'm pretty spontaneous and this seems like the perfect lifestyle change for me. Not to mention the importance of Brandon, my boyfriend, being on board and our dog Ernie loving road trips and traveling in the car. I currently live in an apartment in Chicago and my lease isn't up for a year, so it seems like the perfect amount of time to get the bus ready. I planned on coming home every so often to help my dad work on the bus, but that's when titling and registering the bus came into play. We found out the bus had to be registered and titled within 30 days of purchasing, and we hadn't started with about two weeks left until it was due. So Brandon picked me up from Chicago and we started working. So I guess this is our two weeks progress mark. This is part one of many bus conversions to come. You guys will start to see just how much work goes into the basics of building a bus and how much actual demolition goes in before being able to build anything up. But I'm so excited to be able to share every step with you in renovating Toby into Tobias. He came with the name, okay? I haven't talked to the camera once. The old van life, the new van life. How cute. Okay everyone, it's day four, like midday, day four. We've been working on the bus around three hours a day and we just got the subfloor all put in. Underneath this is all insulation that we attached with expanding foam, it's just pink foam insulation under here and then we just put this in and then today we're gonna do the insulation on the sides the ceiling will be coming soon as much as I want to film like every process and every step we're doing it takes a lot of like trial and error because we don't really know what we're doing and with that it's hard because I'm not just the camera person I was easier filming with Brandon here because he was able to like help my dad lift things and stuff and I could set up the camera more often but now since it's just my dad and me, um, I kind of forget to use the camera so please forgive me, I'm really trying my best. I know once we get more into like aesthetic things, I will record a lot more because it won't be so labor intensive but right now like this stuff isn't even fun but I just wanted to come in here and let you know we're doing it when the bus is finished. I can obviously do like a full Q&A about the bus and how we went about things. Um, obviously my dad's just kind of telling me what to do right now and I'm going in his footsteps because I know nothing about this but it's really cool to learn everything and I'm having a lot of fun doing this stuff. It's actually really rewarding like working with your hands like this. I'm liking it. It's just the heat right now has been bugging me but <laughs> I'm having fun. I like doing this stuff with my dad. He's a good teacher and is like cool calm and collected even when like I mess things up and stuff so yeah I'll talk to you guys later my dad had to go get more expanding foam and other things because we're going through that so fast but luckily they're on sale right now see you guys later Finally time to paint. We just finished the flooring, tiling it all down. We took rust encapsulator and painted it on wherever there was rust on the bus. It wasn't too much because this bus is from Texas. So since it was from Texas, there was no rust because when you're driving it in the snow, the salt is what creates rust. I didn't know that. And then we used this 
2K self level seam sealer and we sealed all the seams. There were a lot of seams that needed to be sealed. We're painting the top. We don't have the top paint today. Uh, it's coming into Home Depot. It's a special kind of paint. And then we're just using this tractor paint. And it says it's white, but it's like a beige color and we're painting the bottom. Sorry I haven't talked a lot. I really look like a bus driver. This is a funny shot. Um, I really look like a bus driver in my overalls. These are my work overalls. sitting in the bus right now we just set up like mocked this little dine dinette section we're gonna have these are the two very back seats of the bus and they're actually shorter than the normal bus seats so we figured we'd repurpose them and use them as the seats up here because obviously with a school bus you only have one driver's seat you don't have a passenger seat so we're thinking like maybe put a passenger seat but I think we're really just gonna stick with the passenger would sit in one of these seats, whether you want to sit forward or backwards, and this has seat buckles already built into it, and we will be fully drilled into the floor, so it's a lot safer than somebody sleeping on the bed or just like wandering throughout the school bus. So there's that, and then the floor is done. I don't know if I said that. We have to reupholster these seats though, because. I don't like the brown leather, it kind of just looks dirty to me. They're scrubbed and clean now, but we paint the outside of the bus. I showed you guys the paint that we used was tractor paint, and it was in the color white. It's not white, it's cream for the lower half. And then for the top half, we used this Lanco Cool Guard Thermoflex technology. It keeps the bus, the inside of the bus, 15, cool, 15 degrees cooler. Pop, it actually feels cooler in here. Really? All right. Like now that I'm thinking? Yeah. Doesn't it? I'm telling you. It, this isn't even open. I know. That's crazy. I know. I think it really uh, pushes the heat away. Yeah. It reflects the heat off. Yeah. Like a mirror. And this is the first layer. We have to do another layer in 24 hours. Coat. Coat. It's not the same thing. Coat of paint. We have to do the second coat in 24 hours, but we use this in white, so our bus is two tones. It only took one gallon of tractor paint that was $30. It took, cost $30 to paint the bus. Yeah, so this was 38 and then the tractor was 32 so 60 something bucks to paint the whole bus, but this is like being extra. You don't have to do this. I don't know. My camera's dying. That's what I get for trying to talk to the camera, but yeah. I feel like I needed to update you guys. Um, big things are happening. Bye. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's a freaking camper. <laughs> so my dad built this whole structure when I went away this weekend. Um, I don't think I would have been any help anyways. <laughs> Did you say I would be? I did help doing all the insulation. We really didn't record any of that because it was boring. I did help a lot with this bus, right Pop? Yes. So my dad built the whole structure just out of wood from Home Depot, he bought that. But then where the actual mattress will lay up on, these are garbage picked doors that he figured would work well as just the base for the mattress and it's perfect. So even though this goes this high, the mattress will obviously go about that high, still giving us room to like sit and not hit our head and all that kind of stuff. And then under here, for now, 
like I said, we had to get this bust done pretty quickly for titling it, but it is in no way, shape, or form anywhere close to being done. It's not going to look like this. This is just the outline, like, that's weird, like, template of it. Underneath here, though, we will have, like, drawers, most likely, for storage and whatever. And then over here, my dad built this structure again. He built this a while ago before I was even home. So he found this on Facebook Marketplace for $10 because it's a lot easier to have a structure already made. And then I can sand it and paint it and change out the knobs and do whatever, even change the faces of it. Um, it's just easier to have this than have to rebuild it. And then under this way, we have to keep it more open. I mean, we're going to have cabinet doors to open and close it. We just don't have it yet. But we have this igloo uh, water container and one will be filled with water and the other one will act as the tank. So when water goes up, it can flow into the other one. My dad garbage picked this sink for a dollar. And on Amazon for $13, they had this rechargeable USB faucet. So it uses no electricity. You charge it up and then stick it in the water and it'll flow like a faucet does. So the coolest thing about this is there's just a hose that you pull right up and it goes into the water supply, which makes it super easy to install and use. That didn't go back in the water. And then you guys have seen the floor we did. We ended up just doing vinyl checkerboard flooring. I really wanted to do something different besides just wood. Um, I plan on painting all the wood, open kind of wood we have here, like a uh, olive green color, but that's to come. And then this little section we have placed out right now, it is definitely not going to look like this forever. We plan on reupholstering these seats. They're not bolted in yet. We decided to put them facing each other and have a little booth area. We're going to add a table here that can flip out. Up here, about nothing is done yet, but we'll get there, obviously. So the ceiling we have right now, we had to rip everything down. So my dad went ahead and did all the rivets before I came home, how many rivets were there? A million. A million rivets, and we he tore all of that down, and then we pulled down the existing insulation, and then instead of using all expanding foam, because that's really expensive for any of the insulation in here, we used panels of insulation, um, and that worked really well and was actually super easy to install. They popped right in and kind of stayed in. And then my dad added wooden slats that we could adhere to the bus. So then we could adhere this Luan onto the wooden slats. And this is just for the inspection. We have to tear this down and redo it because none of the heating and AC and electrical is set up yet. We're going to have lights up here, but you have to get it insured within 30 days. I don't know if I've ever said that, but 30 days from buying the bus, it has to be insured and registered. And if we would have done it right after buying it, it would have been as a commercial bus. But if you add all the features that we have now, it can be insured and registered as a camper van, which is a lot cheaper. So that's a tip. Um, but yeah, my dad still has to put in the new battery and then we'll get it running, I think this weekend to drive it for the first time. It's only the length of my 2009 Ford Escape, which a lot of people don't believe, but we park them right next to each other and they're the same length, but it is six and a half feet wide. So I definitely need to practice a lot before I start driving it. And like I said, we have so much more we want to do. We want to add a table outside. We want to add racks onto the outside of the bus. We want to add a deck on the top. We have beadboard to put on the walls. We want to add a faux tin ceiling made of plastic panels on the ceiling. We still have to insulate all of this area, paint the door. So much has to be done and do all the USB kind of things with this. We want to take this whole thing out. There's so much to do. But I figured if I did it all in one video, you guys wouldn't see this for about a year, so I thought I'd get it out. Um, if you guys have any questions about the bus or want a full Q&A about the bus, just let me know. But I think that's it for this video. I hope there's enough footage of us doing all of this. It might not seem like a lot, but... So make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to, and I'll see you in a few days. Bye. Cover.